Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer with Oculus Rift Reviews, now with Windows Mixed Reality as well. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and full review for Fingers Mini Games, a game released on the Steam Store July 4th, 2020. For all the major headsets, it normally retails for 3 bucks. It's currently on sale 15% off, 2 50 And if you don't have 2 50 you can borrow it from the Loch Ness Monster. That's what I did, and I bought it at that sale price, and uh, I'm having a lot, of, a lot of fun with this game. It's a simple game. It's a mini party game, but the unique thing about it is the finger physics. So, as you can see, these are the instructions. With the Oculus Rift, you're using either X or A, or Y or B for the thumb. Now, on Windows Mixed Reality, which I'm currently on, it's this way for the thumb this way. And this way for the thumb that way. So you see how the thumb act behaves differently depending on how you have it pressed on the thumb pad. Now on the store page it says standing room only. And as you can see it's pretty far away from me. I'm actually playing seated. Luckily with the new Steam VR beta I can easily fix remedy that. I just have to reset my room. So I really love this new functionality. Thank God Steam VR finally did this. <laughs> I was hoping they would do this several years ago, but they finally did it. And as you can see, part of the fun is you can pick up pieces and they might fall down. And uh, don't worry, if they do, you can just click here and they come right back. So there's four different mini games. Now one of them is just a sandbox. And we're going to start off with what, in my opinion, is the worst one. Now I will say I really like this VR environment. It looks nice, but you hardly ever notice it because you're playing the game. So let's go ahead and get this here so to start all you have to do is put the block in just fit it in there it's a tight fit now this is the most boring one in my opinion uh, it's still fun it's not just a mental challenge at you know the first two levels are easy then you get to this one you're like whoa I'm not gonna try to do this one but I just wanted you to see how difficult it can get and then you have to put them correctly you're fighting the finger physics now on Windows Mixed Reality, you might notice that my hand is not perfect. And I don't know if my batteries are low. Maybe that's why my tracking is not very good right now. But, you know, I have these issues with Windows Mixed Reality. I probably have no issues at all on the Oculus Rift. But I don't like the control scheme on the Oculus Rift. So uh, I don't like having to use the, the A or X or Y or B for the, for the thumb. <laughs> uh, okay. So let me show the simple one because I don't want to be, I'm, I'm just doing a quick review. So basically the, the main gist of this other than the mental aspect of, you know, they get harder is there's also a physical aspect of, you know, being able to pick up the pieces and put them in the right place, you know. So if you're like a guy like me who has trouble fitting in big pieces into, uh, into the appropriate hole, this might be uh, difficult for you, or this might be traumatizing. You know, if you're a guy like me who has issues with that. You know, because this one is difficult to pick up. So, you're going to use both hands to make it easier. Duh. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, that was the easy one, though. And obviously, like I said, it gets much harder. I've only gotten to this one, and I saw this one, and I was like, yeah, maybe sometime when I have more more time. So let's go to another game. Okay, so this is that, that one. You know, forget about that one. This is a sandbox one. Let's try this one. This is Jenga. And Jenga, Jenga, Jenga. Now, I've played Jenga before in VR, but not one with this good of physics as far as finger physics. So this is quite fun. Uh... Okay, this is this one is not too hard. We'll see if we can do it. Uh, you need good tracking though, and I don't know if you can tell, but my tracking right now is not the best. I probably need to put new fresh batteries into here. But I'm the type of person I like to play with my motion controllers on Windows Mixed Reality until they're totally drained. So I'm not going to change batteries, even though it'd make it easy this easier. Oh, so I already lost. That was fast. That was quick. <laughs> That's what she said, right? Okay, so let's, uh, oh, crap, wow, okay, let's at least get it one time, jeez. So you can see part of the fun of this game, but let me try to at least get it one time, jeez. 
Okay. Woo! <laughs> that was a lot harder than it looked, right? All right. All right, we're doing good. Oh! <laughs> okay. So you see the point. Uh, this is actually a lot of fun. <laughs> and I, I'm just, again, I'm doing a review, so I don't want to spend too much time in just one game. But this Jenga is fun. Uh, I recommend better tracking, though. Not the best tracking. This this would be a lot easier on my Oculus Rift. But uh, I definitely don't. I wish there was a different way to do, pu pull your thumb other than the A or X or the Y or B. Anyways, let's try the, the next one. Okay. So I've never played a game like this in VR. So this is completely new to me. Um, this is actually very fun. I, I'm surprised by how much fun this is. I've never played a game like this. And so this is basically guess the shape. And so you're going to use both hands. And you're going to feel around. <laughs> this is how I feel at night, you know. You're feeling around, trying to figure out what's going on. What am I touching? What is this? <laughs> and, and it's completely dark. You can't see anything. Anyways, enough about me. <laughs> uh... So you can see, I have to figure out which one of these three it is. And so you'll notice, what what is the difference? Wow, <laughs> it's like I could barely tell the difference between these three. Uh, so you see how this one's forward, this one's, this one might be a little bit too complicated. Let's go back to three, because like I said, I don't want to make this a long video. All right, this one's easier to tell. Okay, so this is a lot easier. So you see, this is different. It doesn't. It has two on the side, one on the top, and one in the front. This one has two on the side, but it doesn't have one in the front or one on the top. And this one only has one on the top. It doesn't have two on the side. So let's feel around. Let's try to figure out what we're dealing with. So oh, this one might be easy after all. So I'm feeling to the sides, and I'm feeling nothing at all. So it has to be number one because unless I'm being mistaken, unless I'm mistaken, yeah, no, it has to be number one. And we're correct, it is number one. So that one was actually not that difficult. Let's go a little bit harder though. Let's see if we, can we figure this one out? This one's tough. Oh man, number four. Oh. Wait, did we really get number four? I thought it was more complicated than that. Last time we had one more that was more complicated, didn't we? Okay, well, anyways, it doesn't matter. So they all have one on the side. On the top, it's, this one and this one are com very difficult to tell. So the easiest thing is if we fill a cube on the top, we know for sure. So is there a cube on the top is really what we need to figure out. And the answer is no, there is no. So it's between 2 and 3. And how do we tell the difference? So this one's completely square here. So we got a feel for that. Okay, whew. And that would be the main difference. That's how they tell the difference, right? So it has to be number two, right? Let's see. Yeah! <laughs> that is that is a lot of fun, believe it or not. <laughs> and I'm surprised how good I am at, at it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get this one. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at the last one, which is just... This is just a sandbox. And you can play with the different toys and whatnot. So let's just show that one really quick. I'm not going to spend too much time in the sandbox. Um, you might have more fun in the sandbox. Uh, but basically, you just play with the shape. I don't know. Try to build something. I'm not very good with sandboxes, to be honest with you. So uh, let's... Uh... Okay. Let's try to... Let's try to build something here. Uh oh. Okay. Whew. Can you tell my tra I'm having issues with tracking right now? Ah, oh, okay. Uh, there we go. No, we don't want you. Actually, this is perfect because I can show this function over here. Oh, actually, just goes in the trash. Okay, here we go, a little ahead. Can we balance this out? Nope. <laughs> Anyways, this is a fun game. Fingers, mini games. I pay 250 
and I, I'm really liking this game. It's a lot of fun for you know less than three bucks. It's a lot of fun for that price. I recommend it. If I have to rate it right now, given how novel it is, um, I wish there was more content. That's but for three bucks, you really can't expect too much. And uh, I wish you could recenter within the game, but Steam VR luckily lets us do that. So I really don't have too many complaints. If if I have to rate it right now, I, I'd give it an eight out of ten. It's a solid game. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's something that you can introduce people to VR as far as you know using the motion controllers, getting used to using the trigger, the thumb pad, and all that to simulate hand movement. Uh, I'd like to see more stuff added. I hope this game gets more complicated and more stuff. You know, I, this is just the start of what I could think could be a really great game. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. I highly recommend this game. For three bucks, it's a steal. For less than three bucks, it's a steal. Even at three bucks, normal price, it's a steal. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.